Hi again, it's 2020. The spring season is finally here in Alberta. And I guess this will be my first garden vlog of the season. I'm gonna show you what we've got going here in the greenhouse. We just moved everybody out here today. It's like plus 17 outside. The snow is almost all gone from our yard. And hopefully we can get some more things started soon. We're a little bit behind this year. It'll be a quick one for the first vlog of the season. So enjoy. So we moved everybody to the greenhouse today. These are my glads. And up here and here as well. Um, mint that I brought in from last year. So that's, I didn't start that from seed. Sweet peas from seed that we harvested from last year. Geraniums, we bought these. We did not plant them from seed. Um, zinnias like crazy. Almost this whole thing is zinnias. Tomatoes, lettuce. Pansies, pansies, and lobelia, tomatoes, lobelia, and that's supposed to be tomatoes. This is a couple more sweet peas. I think this is also sweet peas. I'm pretty sure these are petunias, um, lobelia, lobelia, pansies. This is supposed to be nicotiana, but I planted it wrong, so I'm not sure they're ever going to come up. And this is also supposed to be pansies, and nothing has come up, so. I'm not a big fan of pansies. I don't think it's going well, and I may not ever try them with seed again. Petunias. Petunias, petunias. I think this whole tree is petunias. Um, this tree, this tree, this tree are alyssum. This one is snapdragons. This is two dahlias. More tomatoes. There's two tomatoes in here. There's supposed to be like ten. Um, this... This is also supposed to be tomatoes, nothing yet. Also tomatoes, tomatoes, and more petunia. Lettuce, lobelia that I planted way too thickly. Petunias, this is supposed to be more moonflower. Petunias, this is kale, more tomatoes. Tomatoes, um, lemon cucumbers, lettuce, and all of these are basil, I think. And then up here, we have my moonflowers, which I sort of, Hurt trying to remove the shells, like the seed shells every day, so I'm not gonna do that with this one. I'm just gonna let it kick it off itself. And then pumpkins. And that's what's in the greenhouse. It's like plus 17 today, so hopefully they'll be happy. And then here is our strawberries that are coming on like mad. And some dandelions. And then I planted onions here. So there's three in this front row here. I actually found all three of these in one of the beds on the other side of the greenhouse when I was digging. And this one is, this one's starting to grow already, so that's cool. So last year I did a thing where I tried to have a tip for every vlog that I put out about what you should be doing that week. Um, if you have any pruning in your yard to do, this is probably a good time to do it. A couple rules of thumb. One, prune dead, dying, or diseased branches. So look for branches that are totally dead. If you scrape a little bit of bark off and they're brown and no green, take it off. If it's rubbing against another branch, so there's your d damaged or diseased, if it's rubbing against another branch, take one of them off because that can cause injuries and open your trees and shrubs up to um, pests and disease. And dead damaged and diseased. Yeah, anything that has disease on it. So black knot is really common around here on um, a lot of trees, but really common on Schubert chokepit cherries, which are popular in a lot of cities. Um, so check for those. Black knot should be burnt. Um, do not put it in your compost. Do not let it touch anything else and sanitize your tools after you're pruning black knot. Um, the other thing, things not to prune right now. Don't prune your lilacs. Don't prune flowering almond. Don't prune crab apples. Anything that flowers in the spring should be pruned after it's bloomed, right after it's bloomed. Anything that flowers in the summer, you can prune in the spring or in the winter. One more pruning rule of thumb. You should never remove more than about one third of your plant's um, branches at a time. So trees or shrubs, try to give them a good chance of recovering. Just don't remove more than one third of the whole tree at a time. One last pruning rule of thumb. 
pruning in summer will slow down the growth of your plant um, so it puts out less growth. Pruning in the spring or winter will really push a lot of growth for the coming season so if you want things to bush out prune them now other than don't prune spring, flower, spring flowering shrubs because you won't get any blossoms. Anyway, have a good week and we'll see you in the next vlog.